Dear students, welcome to Divya's Max Solutions. Today we are going to discuss Chapter 5, Data Handling Exercise 5.1. Okay, here data handling means what different types of graph and how to represent the data on the graph only. Here we are learning that. So, in order to uh, draw a graph means we need some data. Cut. That means that information, the collection of the information collected that means the mass code or height of the students um, the story books they read so that is called a data using that data only we can draw the graph right so the data is represented graphically graphically means we need to draw a graph correct that means different types of graphs are there uh, one is picture graph that means picture representation only uh, that we, anyway we are not using in the graph paper which one we will do we will do the first one is the bar graph right bar graph means bar graph bar graph means how it looks like this is like this only right somehow like this like this we can that means uh, suppose this is different subject means this is physics this is chemistry biology the mark code we can mark it like that or height of the students so like that we can mark that means the display of information using bars of uniform width their height being proportional to the respective value right this height the, uh, this width should be same if this is we are taking one column means this also we need to take one column bar graph means we need to take uh, represent this x axis y axis we need to write the scale also then the, this width should be same only then height means proportional to the corresponding value only we will draw this is the first one bar graph uh, next one is the double bar graph is also there Double bar. Double bar means what? Two types of data. That means uh, suppose this uh, like this. Along with that one more is there. Then next one along with the one more is there. That is also with the same. Then here we are using the double bar graph. Right. That means graph is showing two set of data simultaneously. Two data we are uh, showing simultaneously. That means suppose uh, a student name Sam. His score in the first system and second and two other we can um, show like that or 2005 to 2006 data we can show like that we can represent the data correct that is a double bar graph that means the graph showing two set of data simultaneously it is used for why we are using this one this is for comparison right so in the first system he scored less mark and second sum says uh, he scored high mark like that we can compare or uh, which one in the year in the, in the year 2005 and 2007 population we can compare like this oh, sorry. that means this uh, double bar graph is used for comparison of data okay next um, next we will use uh, next uh, organizing of data that means this frequency um, diagram correct frequency using frequency bar we can organize the data that means some numbers are repeating 2 2 2 8 8 8 9 9 9 means one time we need to write 2 like that we can cut that means for tally mark we need to suppose this is a data 2 2 3 4 7 8 2 like that then one more 2 5 10 like that then this is a uh, column for 2 how many times 1 2 3 4 4 times we need to put suppose one more is there that means this 4 and cross means what is total 5 2's are there so like that we can use the tally diagram also this all we learn right so this is known as the frequency of the subject right frequency gives a number of times that a particular entry is occurred in this given data so how many times it is repeating only we are using the frequency distribution table so using frequency distribution also we can represent the data next day grouping grouping of data means we need to make a class interval that means 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 like that also we can make the class interval right that means this is continuous only since 0 to 10 then it is starting from again from 10 to 20 this is 20 to 30 next 30 to 40 like that we can take the class interval so this is called a class interval correct this is called a class interval here the interval gap that means 0 to 10 means what is that with 10 only here also 20 minus 10 means 10 here also 30 minus 20 means 10. In all cases, the width should be, the interval gap should be same only. Then only we can write like this. Suppose here it is 0 to 10. This is 20 to, 30, uh, 20 to 40. That means it won't correct. Both are the same interval we need to take. So here the lower, this is a 10, 10 to 20. Correct. That means the 10 is called a lower class limit and 20 is called a upper class limit. Here this 20 is called a lower class limit. This 30 is called a upper class limit. 
here 0 is the lower class limit and 10 is the upper class limit. So the difference between upper limit minus lower limit is the width or size of the class interval. Okay, this is the lower class. On the left side what is there? That is called the lower class limit. And then this one is called the upper class limit. The difference between upper class limit minus lower class limit is called the width or size of the class interval we can take. Uh, then one more thing you need to remember means if you are taking 0 to 10 means 0 to this in this interval we need to consider 0 to 9 including 0 and till 9 only we, we need to mark it. The 10 is not included in this case. Here that means the 10 is included we, are, we can take up to 19. If you are taking 10 over here means here also we are taking 10. That is not possible. In two steps we are not able to take 10. Correct. That means 0 to 10 means we need to consider the values over here means the frequency table means we need to take only 0 to 9. Here it is that here it is 10 to 19. Here it is 20 to 29. The upper limit we are not including. Just before that upper limit that number only we are including. Okay. So like that also we can draw. Then uh, bar with the difference. That means continuously also we can this one. The limit is like that means it will go continuously only graph right. 0, 10, uh, 20, 30, 40 means the graph should be continuous only. Like this it will go. That is a continuous graph also we can draw. That means the uh, bars with the difference. Correct. That is, a, that is called a histogram. Histogram means what? Histogram, histogram means what? Graphical representation of data in, in a continuous manner is called a histogram. That is a representation of histogram only. Then here also bars of equal width with the no gap in between. There is no gap between two graphs. Histogram speciality means the graph with the equal width but there is no width in between. So in, no, there is no gap between them. Then height of the bar gives the number of data or item in that group, particular group or frequency we can mark. So this is a histogram. So using this only the first exercise 5.1 we are going to simplify. Okay. What is the first question? Question number 1. For which of these food use a histogram to show the data? Histogram means what we need. We need continuous data. That means the interval we need. Right? Class interval. So first one is a number of letters for different areas in a postman box. So number different areas. That means different areas means that is not continuous. Right? Suppose uh, A is one area, B is another area, C is another area. Like that it is areas are going. Right? Both are not continuous. So it is all are different only. Areas are different. That is not in a continuous pattern. So this one we are not able to represent with the histogram. We can use for this one we can use a bar diagram. Correct. Area A this much of letter is delivered. Area C means this much of letter is del uh, delivered. Area uh, B means this much of letter is delivered. Like that we can mark. That means this one is not possible with the histogram. What is the histogram? Histogram means graphical representation data. If the data is represented in a manner of class interval. Right. That means there is no class interval. That means a is not possible. Next, the height of competitors in an athletic meet. Competitors in an athletic meet. So, height become interval only, right? So, we can take the height 150 to 160 in one group. Competitors means athletic meet means what? So many competitors are there, right? So, we need to make that in a group only we can take. That means 140 to 150 height we can take it in one group. Next, 150 to 160 height we can take it in another group. Next, 160 to 170 group we can make it in another group. Like that we can do. So, this is what? This is a histogram only. This uh, data is represented in a manner of class interval only. So, this is we can, the B we can represent using histogram. Next, C. The number of cases produced by five companies. Five companies means the companies are not like a, like a class interval. Companies are different only. Right. Company A, Company B, Company C, Company D, Company E. Both are different. All are different companies. Different companies. That is also not a class interval. So that is not, not able to represent using histogram. Next. D. D means the number of passengers boarding trains from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. That means morning 7 a.m. to night 7 p.m. the passengers are boarding. Correct. So that also we can make a group 7 to 8 how many passengers are bo boarding. Then 8 to 9 how many passengers are boarding. Then 9 to 10 like that here also we are able to make a class 7 to 8, 8 to 9, 
9 into 10, let that we can get class interval. So, this one also we are able to represent like a histogram. The number of passengers boarding in a train, we can make it as an interval. So, that is also a histogram. And this height of the atlas participate means that is also we can make it as a uh, class interval. So, that is also a histogram we can do. Correct. Question number 2. The shoppers who come to a department store are marked as Man M, Woman W, Boy B and G for Girl. The following list gives the shoppers who came during the first hour in the morning. So this is a data. Then make a frequency distribution table using tally marks. Draw a, draw a bar graph to illustrate it. That means first we need to draw a frequency distribution table. Then we need to draw a bar graph to represent this data. Correct. So what we need first we can draw the frequency distribution table. Right. Frequency distribution table. Um, shoppers. Shoppers are. And this is the first column we can take. Shoppers are. Um, M4, W4 woman. M4 man. And B4 boy. And G4 girl. 1, 2, 3 shoppers are there. Then we can use the second one as tally mark. Tally marks. Then the number we can write. Number of shoppers. Number of shoppers. Okay. This is a frequency and distribution table. Right. So we can take it as W. So how many times W is there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 means close it. So this is 5. Next step. Uh, M, 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 W. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Cross it. Next, uh, W, W, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Cross it. Again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And W, 1, 2. Sorry, here I missed 1 W. So the remaining Ws are 3. 1, 2, 3. So what is the total number? This is 5. 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28. The number of women shop, shoppers are 8, 28. Next step, men. Uh, M we can take. M. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Next step, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Next, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Only that means, that means 5, 10, 15. 15 is the men. This is crossing means group of 5. Next, B. B, 1, B, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5. Only 5. That means 1, 2, 3, 4. Cross it. 5. B is 5. Next is G. G is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Next 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Next, 1, 2. It means 5 plus 5 is 10, 11, 12. So 12 is the girl shoppers. Right. So here we can illustrate using the bar graph also. So here we are going, uh, going to draw the bar graph. So first we can draw the x, x and y axis. This is x axis. This is y axis. Bar diagram only. Then here the graph means uh, how the graph will go. Here so many lines are here. Right. On the graph paper here we can see 
like this like this so many columns here also we can see so this uh, this column suppose this column the first one we can take it as w leave that much then this much w this much we can take it as men this much we can take it as boys and this much we can take it as girls the equal equal we need to leave okay then here height means up to uh, 28 15 so we can take it as 5 10 only here this is 0 5 10 15 20 25 30 correct so here um, w w is 28 28 means in between how this is 5 only right then 27 28 somehow somehow here it will come this is a w each line is in between uh, small lines 1 2 3 4, 1 2 3 4 5 like that only it will come right so this is 28 will come in between this one so this is 28 that is woman 28 suppose here you can mark and write this is 28 next uh, men men is 15 so easily we can mark this is a 15 In graph paper, we will get a neat diagram. Men is 15. Next, boy is 5. This is 5. Next, girl is 12. Girl is 12 means here it will come. This is 12. So, this is the boy girl and everything we can write here there is no scale we need to take here we can take scale y axis one unit is equal to five we can take five one unit is equal to five unit we can write that is a scale over here this is a graphical representation so if one unit is equal to not unit shoppers this is a shoppers right one unit is equal to five shoppers we can write here that means y axis means what number of shoppers number of shoppers this is a number of shoppers and uh, this is a type of shoppers on the x axis this is x axis this is a type of shoppers different m w b and g this is a number of shoppers on the y axis everything we need to mark also question number three the weekly wages in rupees of 30 workers in a factory. This is the wages of 30 workers is given using tally marks. Make a frequency table with the interval 800 to 810, 18 to 820. So on. we need to make this one. Correct. So we need to prepare only the frequency distribution table. So the class interval is given. The format is given. Class interval. Next column is. Uh, tally marks tally marks then this frequency so like that three columns we need to draw so the interval starting with the 800 800 to 810 next is 810 to 820 what is the maximum number uh, 890 89 okay so next 820 822 830 832 840 842 850 852 860 860 870 is the maximum, right? 898. And still 900 only we need to take. This is the frequency distribution table. Here we can mark. 
800 to 810 means what are the numbers we need to take 800 to 809 we need to consider no need to take 810 so 800 801 802 803 804 805 806 808 809 no need to take 810 810 we can take on here only here 800 to 809 here we need to mark okay uh, 800 to 809 800 to 832 855 804 that means 1 808 also we can take 1 next uh, 840 806 that means only 3 is there that is a 3 tally marks the frequency is 3 correct next day 810 to 820 that means 810 to up to 819 we can consider 810 to 819 810 1 next uh, 810 820 we are not able to take 812 812 we can take 2 only 2 here only 2 is there next uh, 822 830 that means we can take 820 up to 829 we can take 820 up to 820, 820, 820, uh, here only one, one is there, okay, next day 832, 839 we can take, 830, 830 is there, one, 835, 2 again 835 3 836 4 836 832 5 we can cross it 1 we cross it next 833 again 1 835 835 2 1 2 836 4 that's all. That means 5 plus 4 is 9. Next day, 842, 849, 842, 849, 842, 849. So, 845, 1, 845, 2, 843, 844, again 5 we can write next day 852 860 that means 852 859 we can consider 852 850 range 855 1 855 only one is there only one next day 860 862 870 is not included just before that means 869 862 869 1 869 1 862 next uh, 870 868 872 878 only one is there one one next day 880 882 889 880 882 885 one only one one is there next day last one is 892 899 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 that one is 4 so we can verify also when we are adding these all we will get here it is given 30 bucks here the sum is 30 means our our tally marks is also say correctly right 3 plus 2 is 5 5 plus 10 is 15 20 23 24 25 26 30 so this is a total is 30 also that means this is correct only.
Question number 4. Draw a histogram for the frequency table made for the data in question number 3. Then answer the following question. So the above data, we are going to draw a histogram. That means this is a histogram. Why? Because this is a continuous interval only. Right. So we can mark x-axis, y-axis, y, x. Then uh, here, uh, class interval right that means starting from 800 to 810 so here we are putting a break line so why we are putting this break line because here this is starting with the zero but here we are starting with the 800 only till there the numbers till 719 numbers is there that one we are not considering correct that's why we are putting a break line over here so 800 to uh, 810 820 830 800, 810, 830, 840, 850, 860, 870, 880, 890, 900. Right, till 900 we need to take. And then uh, this, uh, this is the, what is this one? This is a uh, frequency, right? Sorry, class interval. class interval and here we are uh, taking the uh, number of workers right number of workers number of workers so frequent class interval means what this is the wages correct wages only class interval is taking it as wages in rupees this is the wages in uh, rupees in x axis and in number of workers in y axis so here the number of workers means frequency only right so frequency means what is that is uh, single digit numbers so this one we can take it as one two three only here no need to put this break line break line why we are using means we, we know that here so many lines are there but we are starting with the 800 only that's why we are putting this broken line then here we can take one two three up to ten one two three 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Right. Uh, now we can mark this one. 800 to 810. 800 to 810. What is the number? Frequency 3. 3 is the frequency. This is 3. 800 to 3. 3. Then 810 to 820. The frequency is 2. Frequency is 2. Next day 822 to 830. 822 to 830 the frequency is 1. We need to draw it properly. Okay. Next day 830 to 840 the frequency is 9. Nine. 9. Next day 840 to 850 the frequency is 5. Five. Next day, 850 to 860, frequency is 1. Next day, 860 to 870, uh, 951, 3. 3 is the frequency. 3, then 872, uh, 1 next day 890 to 900 that is 4 this is 4 so this is a histogram and then we need to answer the question first one which group has the maximum number of workers the maximum number of workers in which group the maximum number of workers on this group that is 832 840 group right 832 8 group has maximum number of workers next day. second one how many workers earn 850 and more 850 and more this is 850 correct 850 and more how many workers are that 850 to 860 means 850 is included right from here how much is there that much of workers are learning uh, sorry earning 850 and more that means this is one 
this is that means 1 plus number of workers are 1 plus this is 3 this is 1 1 plus 1 this is 4 that is equal to 3 plus 1 is 4 4 plus 1 is 5 5 plus 1 is 6 6 plus 4 is 10 that means 10 workers are earning more than 850 next day how many workers earn less than 850 less than 850 less than 850 means uh, here 840 to 849 right that means in this side from here to here from here to this end how many is there that much of workers are earning less than 850 that means this is 5 plus 9 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 that means 9 plus 1 is 10 15 17 17 plus 3 is 20 that means 20 workers are earning uh, less than 850 rupees and question number 5 the number of hours of hours for which student, students of a particular class watch television during four days is shown through a graph answer the following for how many hours did the maximum number of students watch tv maximum number of students that means here this is the hours of tv watch per day hours of tv watch per day this is the hours and this is the number of students we need to find for how many hours did the maximum number of students watch TV? Mm, maximum number of students means this is the number of students, right? 32. 32 is the maximum number of students. How many hours is watching? 4 to 5 hours is watching. 4 to 5 hours. So, this is the, uh, the maximum number of students that is 32 is watching. The maximum number of students watch TV for 4 to 5 hours. We can write next step. How many students watch TV for less than 4 hours? Less than 4 hours. That means this, uh, this much from here to here we need to take. That means 22 plus 8 plus 4. Less than 4, 22, 8 plus 4. This is the number of students, right? 22 plus 8 is 30. 30 plus 4 is 34. 34 students watch TV for less than 4 hours. Third, how much students spend more than 5 hours in watching TV? More than 5 hours. More than 5 means this one. Correct, these two. That means 8 plus 6. 14. 14 students spend more than 5 hours in watching TV. Answer. 